Tonight, Mina Ikwasiak Akuyak is resting here at an Inuit Health Resource Center on Montreal's West Island. Mina is doing well, and she'll be going home tomorrow. Very good news. So she's well enough to go home now. While Akuliak returns home to her community in Nunavik in northern Quebec, she's leaving behind questions about how she went missing for nearly a week after being released from police custody. Uh, I thought it was uh, very uh, sad and, to be honest, unacceptable. We don't Harsh want, words uh, from the mayor of Montreal, who says it's to... time for police to take a closer look at their procedures. What is still not clear is why, in the middle of the night, Akuliak was sent off on her own from this police station, far from the city core, rather than being escorted back to this centre, where she had been recovering from broken ribs and a broken arm after she was hit by a police vehicle in her hometown. Of course, we follow up with the police to see what's going on. And as far as this specific case is concerned, you can't say if that happened or not? We don't, we don't comment specific case. He says they always do what they can to keep their patients safe and give them the best care possible. Police had no comment today, though an Aboriginal liaison officer did meet with Akuliak here today. It's not so much what's wrong, but what could be improved. Maggie Pudelik says she hopes the case will be a lesson to all stakeholders, including the city's police. I believe we're moving towards a better relationship with the other, uh, uh, with the other stations of uh, SPVM, following you know, the story of uh, Mina gone missing. Pudelik says the one good thing to come out of all of this is that there are now plans for her to provide sensitivity training across Montreal's police force, an idea she thinks will be helpful in cities across Canada. Canada. Jayla Bernstein, CBC News, Montreal.